So for the last 30 years or so, Liberty Baptist has been going to Honduras on missions trips, short-term trips. And this year we went end of January, 1st of February for two weeks. There were 26 of us that went to Saguatapeque, Honduras. So not my first mission trip, but my first mission trip to Honduras and my first one with other believers that I was already in community with. So the first Sunday we were there, we got to be at Batania Baptist Church, which is a church that uh, we've worked with for many years. The first full week, we split our team into two groups. There was a group of people at Batania Baptist that were having a vacation Bible school. We hung fish and jellyfish and had a giant shark, a giant turtle, backdrops. And so by the end of the week, they had well over 100 kids, uh, probably age three to maybe 12. At the end of the week, we give them all the supplies. We leave the markers for each children. We pack bags for them. We had the Bibles in them this year. We packed toys, stuffed animals, beauty supplies, and the markers, coloring sheets that were left over that we had from this week's that told the Bible stories. And so just seeing those little kids, handing them the Bible and then being like, I got a Bible, I got a Bible. They were so excited. It really touches your heart and it blesses you. And so it was really special being able to just be hands and feet, however they tell us to be. Um, and really just bring resources for them to use in a capacity that was gonna serve them best. Um, and two ways that we got to do that was going into the mountains for a one day VBS to uh, a school that they had never been to. So a school that was more unreached than normal, you know, churches or schools in their population. The people that we served with in uh, Honduras had never been there. Um, so they were able to take us along and they served alongside of us and they were able to bring the gospel to those kids at that school. Not only are the churches there planning more churches, but they're, they're constantly going out into the villages and they're doing mission work. People who are in need of things, maybe financially or physically, they still believe in the power of prayer and believe in praying for other people. They're using their prayers also to bless others and believe in the power of prayer. And so that was something that I think was a little convicting that I do believe in the power of prayer, but how often do I believe it that much where I am confidently, you know, going for the Lord, asking for things, not just for me, but for others. So at Batania Baptist Church, there is a clinic. In Liberty Baptist Church, in cooperation with the folks there at Batania, built this clinic over several years. It's a beautiful clinic. It's probably three stories tall, but the clinic is very plain J. There's white walls, um, not that inviting for children. Um, and they see a lot of kids at that place. And I was like, I can help with that. I'm, a, I'm an artist, I can help with that. So I had the opportunity to paint a mural for them and we did Noah's Ark. Like I asked them what they wanted. They wanted something biblical, so we decided to do Noah's Ark. The other half of the team is at Nuevo Pacto, which is probably three miles down the road. And so we built about a six by 30 extension to the building that's gonna hold the baptistry. And we built the building and they put the roof on after we left. And I've seen pictures, they've already built the baptistry. And I got a chance to speak at Nuevo Pacto on that Friday after a full week of work. And I told them it's our prayer that come Easter, which was really about a month and a half away, two months away, we wanted them to be baptizing in their, in their sanctuary. We worked all week on the baptistry. And then while we're working on the baptistry, just up the hill about 25 feet, they're building a pavilion, a great big beautiful steel pavilion where the kids can play Awana. So it's exciting to see how God's gonna continue to use us. We're already making plans for 2025. We took 26 people. I think that's the biggest group we've taken from Liberty Baptist. And the projects we have planned for next year, we're gonna need more than 26. So if you've never been on a short-term mission trip, I think it's a wonderful way to see the world, 
to see folks in need, to really be the hands and feet of Christ. It's a great opportunity. I can just kind of tell that I might be a lifer now. <laughs> I might be doing this my whole life. I definitely feel God's calling for now on this and it, it has been a true blessing to me and I can't wait to go back.